So is it sort of a double-edged sword for you guys to try to prepare for the Tar Heel? Well, I think that's the illusion of the offense. They do go hurry up, and uh, they run the football. It's probably 50-50 if you break down the offense, and you know, they run it just as much as they throw it. But, you know, a lot of that passing game is nothing but runs. You know, they're going to throw the ball on the perimeter with screens and uh, things of that nature. So, you know, that's just a running play to me when a guy catches a screen behind the line of scrimmage and uh, receiver screen anyway. So, you know, they're going to try to get, make us, you know, get winded early. We understand that. Uh, but we played, you know, Missouri last year. It was fast-paced, and uh, our offense has done a good job so far in, in camp of giving us her up. And so, you know, I think the kids are understanding. You know, I'll take them and show them some video, uh, you know, the laps or the seconds that – uh, how quick they snapped the ball last time that they snapped the ball seven, eight seconds after the play ran. So, you know, you see the offense line running to the ball, you know, even when the play is still going, they go into the line of scrimmage in the vicinity so they can get ready to line up. So, uh, it'll be something different. We'll get used to it. You know, you can't really assimilate it, but, you know, I think all guys will be ready. Well, I mean, how's Chas uh, doing? Is he back at her practice? He's back. He had a, uh, he practiced the entire day uh, today. He uh, went a lot of his stuff yesterday, but he's, he's back. In white jersey, approximately. What well, can you improve on between now and uh, game time? You always get better technique and fundamentally, but now we'll start pre uh, preparing for them and, and learning what they do. So we'll be more in detail study on North Carolina starting now. Did you, you break into scout team today, or you do that tomorrow? We do that tomorrow. We're broken. Uh, they we they know who's doing the scout team, but we we still went against the offense today. JJ practice. He did. He went the whole practice today. Any of those freshmen who you? Debated Senate scout team that you made a decision on one way or the other? We'll play all four linebackers. Uh, we think David will play some at the end, as uh, long as he continues to learn what we do. Uh, Kelsey is, uh, Griffin is still in the mix at the D tackle. So right now we're going to play them all. We, we plan on playing them all. You know, some of the young DBs, like you know, Al Lee, is probably going to be registered. Uh, so we got some young guys back in the perimeter. But uh, right now, up front in the linebackers, we're going to play them all. Has the thought process over time changed about? Redshirt. You used to be, seem like you tried to redshirt everybody. Now that's a lot of people, you know, a lot of guys are playing. Well, I think depth is an issue uh, because teams are spreading you out more and, yeah. and they're running hurry up offense. So you need as much depth as, as possible. So I think if the game was still in between the tackles, you'll see a lot more kids redshirted. But now that the game's spread over, you're going to see a lot less kids redshirted. Who's Jamar going to play? He's yeah, he definitely going to play because he's on special team. So he's still got a ways to go as far as the defensive back is concerned, but he definitely going to play. Uh, they're both tied right now. Uh, Coach Brown sold them the other day. They're both tied, and so they're still battling who's going to be the fourth corner. They're battling for fourth corner? Correct. And Ahmad is, is, is definitely third. Ahmad will go in either side. If Vic went down or Jimmy go in, Vic, Ahmad will be the first guy in the game. Thanks, guys. All right. Thanks.